Hello, this is Chad Smith with BC Gurus. In part three of our site templates videos, I'm going to go over file folder file structure. Say that three times fast. And the one thing to remember when you're building out a Business Catalyst website is that there are some folders that are reserved for or from Business Catalyst. So these, these are going to be folders that if you try to use them on your own and then upload them to the site, you're going to have problems with your website. So let's look at the ones that Business Catalyst will already have when you create a website. So here in Dreamweaver, you can see we have our our site all set up, our site definition. So the folders that we're going to have to that we're going to look at for reserved are the underscore system folder. This one is going to house your your email campaigns and your content holders. Next would be your layouts folder. That's going to have all the layouts for your blog, your literature items, your web apps, all the layouts that you work with in the back end of BC. Next is your module templates folder. This is going to have the module templates for your menus. See I have a few different menu templates set up. And then your social media which is going to include your Facebook modules and your Twitter module. There's also going to be a style sheets folder which is going to have the module style sheets CSS in it. Now if you delete this one, say I'm not sure if you can even delete templates, layout, or module templates, but you don't want to. But if you did delete the style sheets one because you didn't want to use the module style sheet CSS, you're going to get a 404 for this style sheets when the page loads because Business Catalyst is automatically going to add this style sheet to your to your pages. So you don't have to link to the style sheet. Business Catalyst is going to do that for you. So keeping that intact is going to one, not give you a 404, which is not very efficient for your website. And then that's going to be one more HTTP request that uh, the page has to load. So might as well get some use out of that and don't delete it. Then the last one is going to be the templates folder, which is going to house all your templates for the site. And you can see this one has the phone and tablet settings enabled. Now one thing to keep in mind when you're naming your folders, and in this case your files, you want to make sure that there's no odd characters and no spaces within those files. We get every now and again you're going to get a client that complains that like their email newsletter doesn't have their images that they put on there. And more more than likely, I'd go with probably 92.5%. It's going to be because they put a space in either the folder that the image is in or a space in the name that the folder or file has, or the name of the image basically. So, when you're working on the local site on your local machine having spaces in your file names doesn't hurt you at all but when you upload it to Business Catalyst and you put it in an email campaign you're gonna get this right here this percent 20 is what the browser reads as a space so when it adds that to your file name your file name is not gonna be image percent 20 number one so keeping those out of keeping the spaces out of your file names is going to really cut down on the errors you're going to get or images not found on your website. You can put uh periods in your file name so if you want to do your versions of like your PSDs or PDFs that you're putting onto the site, you can version it out like this. That'll work okay. But I'd recommend using dashes or underscores when you're naming just general files or folders. Now that we understand kind of what to look for when building out a folder structure, some of the best practices that we use here at BC Gurus is we keep a template folder for all of our projects. So if we go to the Explorer, inside our underscore template folder, which we copy and paste and then just rename to whatever project we're working on, we have three main folders for the concepts of the design of our website. So if we click into this, we got mood boards, website, and email. And then that'll go into the version of the design, any resources that we use for our designs, and then proofs of that design. It's like content is everything that we get from the client. So normally they're going to give you a lot of photos and branding information. And then anything else can go into the content folder. And then our templates folder is going to be for our static versions of our website build. So 
we can do our email template here and then our website and we've got just our versions here if we need to create a second version of the site and then from here we have kind of test pages where we have a one column home layout already set up a two column layout set up the privacy shipping and terms pages already created we can delete these ones these are not needed files so a basic favorite con which we can uh, change from the design a CDN reference so we have all of our JavaScript and all of our CDNs right on hand and then three different f file or folders for our assets files for the sites and photos and assets is just going to be our, our JavaScript CSS and then we also have images within our CSS and basically all of these are just kinda basic basic styling so that when we create our template from our template folders we can just hit the ground running and get everything going so when you're using your template folder and you have everything set up so you can get your each project you do is streamlined you want to make sure you're going to use the same folders on the live site to do on the local local site so that when anybody else edits or you know it gets handed off the website they're not going to have to question where everything is and basically you're going to want to keep these files up to date so if you're using any CDNs you want to make sure they're the current version of jQuery um, if you're using any plugins make sure they're all current as well now as one of the resources for this video module we're going to include my template file here which has the BC Guru's file structure already set up.